Hey traders, welcome back to another crypto update. In this video, we are going to be covering the Solana token, important market moves, and what is going to happen next. Now, some very, very interesting things have been going on with Solana. Starting off with the bull market support bands. These support bands are the weekly 20 SMA, and the weekly 21 EMA for anybody that is interested. Now these are super, super important, especially out on the weekly chart. You can see that we came up here and we tried to reclaim this top bull market support band. We got rejected, which explained this fall right here. And this just means that we didn't have the momentum to break through yet. I'm very, very confident that when we break through this level confidently, we will come down to retest, and if we hold once again, we will definitely be back to seeing all-time highs, breaking this $260 level. Now, this chart looks very, very bullish indeed. On the weekly chart, as you can see right here, we are about to cross on the MACD. And the last time the MACD crossed for Solana, let's take a look at how far we ran up. So we, start, so we started, we crossed on this candle, and then we ran up 388% to its peak. Not bad at all. The MACD has been very, very accurate with Solana, crossing here before we saw more downside. And in even more bullish news, these bull market support bands are about to cross once again. You can see that they haven't quite crossed yet, however, if they continue to follow this trajectory, they will cross and this will flip back bullish. Last time this happened, you can see we had a meteoric rise. So very, very bullish signs on the weekly, but does zooming into the daily tell a different story? Now, first of all, a great thing that we love to see is that we recently broke this downtrend right here. We bottomed out on this big level of support down here at the $80 range, and then we bounced right back up. A lot of traders are even saying that this is forming a cup and handle pattern right here. And as long as we don't break back under this $80 range, which I think is very, very unlikely, we are going to complete this pattern. And then once again, we are likely to head up all the way here to $260. This RSI trend line just did a break though. So that is something to be aware of. Quite a strong RSI trend line on the daily, bouncing off one, two, and then breaking through on the third time. Time. And this is probably now going to turn into resistance. So in the very short term, maybe a little bit more downside expected, but I do expect this cup and handle to be completed. Now, if we pull up the volume on the chart here, you can see that there hasn't really been much of a change in volume. A better way to view this is through Haikanashi. Okay, and as you can see, this is telling us right now that there is less sellers in the market than there are buyers. These buying candles were much bigger, meaning that, as I said, more buyers than sellers, which is another bullish sign. Moving into the hourly to give you guys a better idea of where we could go in the next few hours. We actually look right here to be forming an RSI resistance line. It can't break above this 65 level for some reason. So hopefully we can get enough buyers into the market. We are also starting to make a small uptrend right here. And hopefully once again, this should hold. Now price actually looks like it is starting to wedge in this area. You can see that we have a downtrend going from there and an uptrend going there. Now, whichever way this breaks out, which at the moment it looks definitely more likely to be up, then we could see a run in the short term, potentially back reaching this $115 level. This is all very bullish, but the areas that we really do need to focus on is these bull market support bands. Like a lot of cryptos are actually struggling to hold this, Bitcoin failed to hold the bull market support band as you can see here. I think the only coin that I have heard of that has actually held the bull market support bands so far is Luna. Now you can see that we recently came down, we haven't even touched this yet, but Luna is the only one that's managed to hold. And of course, Luna is the only coin that has recently made all time highs. So that just shows you how bullish Luna is. Now back to Solana, there are a few more important pieces I want to touch on. Now, the first of all, if we just get rid of this to make this a little bit clearer, is this most recent Fibonacci level. So if we pull up the Fibonacci, 
You can see that we have recently bounced off this 62 level. Now we kind of broke through but not a clean enough break and we started heading back up. Now we definitely don't have enough momentum yet to make this be worth anything but it is something to be aware of. Now the more important version this is just kind of like a tiny insignificant Fibonacci that doesn't really matter. However there is a Fibonacci level that does very very much matter and that is this level right here. You can see that Solana has been very very respectful of these Fibonacci levels and this final level here literally the bottom level of the Fibonacci is holding very very strong. Now we came up and we tried to break through this 50 level. If we broke this of course that is the halfway point of the Fibonacci and the momentum goes back to being positive. Now it must be said that because we are under this 50 level that the momentum is bearish. However, due to the other technical indicators, I am very confident we will see a rise soon. So guys, that is a quick update on the Solana token. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button and let me know if you are accumulating Solana in the description in the comments down below. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Happy trading and take it easy.